Well, welcome back. Well, just before the break, we were talking about different uh, feelings you might feel in your heart types of rhythm of your heart beating and joining us right now is Dr. Macy Smith who's a cardiac electro I'm gonna mess this up physiologist, physiologist with Brookwood Baptist and he's talking specifically with us about atrial fibrillation you may have heard on commercials uh, while you're watching TV referred to as AFib right so what exactly is AFib so atrial fibrillation or AFib is a progressive heart rhythm disorder where the heart beats too fast and irregular it affects three to six million Americans, making it the most common heart rhythm disorder in the U.S. Yet despite being this common, it remains poorly understood, with less than 10% receiving appropriate care. Symptoms include shortness of breath, fatigue, palpitations, and dizziness. Complications are heart failure, stroke, debility, even death. Early diagnosis and treatment are critical, right. um, which can help prevent these complications with appropriate treatment by a heart rhythm specialist. At Cardiovascular Associates, we are urging, if you know anyone or yourself has atrial fibrillation, we request that you make sure that you're seeing a heart rhythm specialist so that we can stop the progression of atrial fibrillation. And you were saying the symptoms, shortness of breath, uh, heart palpitations, pretty common right. things that you'd feel. So how would right. you know, uh, I guess it would take one to the hospital, but how would you know that you're just not having a, a bit of a heart beat, beat skip, skip, like, you know, if you're in love or, right. <laughs> or if it's something right. serious that you need to get looked at? Well, and I think that's the hard thing for so many people because, you know, as we age, all of us start to feel more tired or short of breath or have less energy and those can be the same symptoms as uh, atrial fibrillation and so um, the way that we usually have to figure it out is by doing an EKG, a heart rhythm tracing um, so someone has to come into the office. One of the other problems is, is that when people first start having it they have it intermittently so they might feel it go to the hospital and then be right back into normal rhythm. So many people can have palpitations for years until they're ultimately diagnosed unfortunately but there are other tricks have other types of monitoring, long-term monitoring that we can do to pick up something that's not necessarily happening every single day. So since it's so common, people just need to really pay attention to those main two factors. If you're seeing yourself having more shortness of breath and, and heart palpitations, just don't take that lightly. Right. Definitely do not take heart palpitations, shortness of breath, or, in, you know, an, a definite increase in fatigue. Okay. All right. Well, and of course, uh, you're encouraging people to either come see you guys or your physician if you are starting to feel those symptoms. Again, shortness exactly. of breath heart palpitations and it's very right. common and right. sounds like pretty easy to maintain if you do seek treatment early. Right, early treatment is the key. Uh, we need to increase awareness and uh, this is a much easier disease to treat uh, if there's early diagnosis and treatment. All right, well thank you so much Dr. Smith, we appreciate you. you being here.